let's discuss some applications of the Bernoulli principle. Where the speed of a fluid increases, internal pressure in the fluid decreases. The Bernoulli principle plays a role in the common hand-operated sprayer shown here. Air is moved over the top end of the tube inserted into a liquid. What does Bernoulli say about internal pressure of a fast-moving air? That's right, pressure here is reduced. But what of the room pressure of the air on the surface of the liquid inside the reservoir? It's at atmospheric pressure greater than the lowered air pressure atop the tube. Aha, liquid is forced up the tube and into the stream of air where it is used to water plants if it's water or kill bugs if it's bug spray. You can experience Bernoulli's principle if you blow through the hole in a spool with the other end covered with a card. Blown air exiting the hole between the spool and the card is moving, while air on the outside of the card is stationary. Aha, so the pressure on the spool side of the card is less than the air pressure on its outside. Atmospheric pressure against the card pushes the card firmly toward the spool. Challenge your friends and try to get the card away from the spool by blowing through the hole. A baseball pitcher and tennis player can put a spin on a ball to make it curve. Note the streamlines on either side of this baseball. When the tossed ball isn't spinning, the lines are symmetrical on either side. Its motion is a straight line. Aha, but what if the ball is spinning? Recall that close together streamlines indicate decreased pressure. The crowding of streamlines on side B, where the pressure is lower than on side A, produce a deviation as indicated by the red arrow. So the ball curves away from a straight line path as indicated by the blue arrow. Bernoulli doesn't treat friction or viscosity, which do play a role in the spinning baseball. If you study this further, you'll learn about the Magnus effect. Let's drop in on my class at City College of San Francisco, CCSF, where student Tenny Lim accepts my invitation to illustrate the Bernoulli principle. We can have fun with little pieces of card. Kind of show Bernoulli's principle. Take a little card, bend it like this, bend it like this, it's a little thing like this, and have a volunteer. Would you simply blow that card off the table like I just almost did this? <laughs> blow, blow, blow it right off the table if you would please. Hmm. <laughs> Here we have a couple of tin cans. Okay. I'm going to ask you to blow between the tin cans, and I'm going to ask the class, are the cans going to go this way or go this way? Think. See what your neighbor thinks. Or they go this way or this way when she blows right between. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's take a little shot, shot, shot spray. Ah, they touched. Can you see that? They touch. They come in. Okay? Let's try this. Straws. Little rollers, okay? Like making the pyramids, okay? Can. Can. Again. Blow between. Will they come together or go apart? Check the neighbor. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Huh? 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tenny is one of my merit badges in teaching. She earned the highest A in my class, and I convinced her to switch her education toward science. She did just that, and two years later transferred from CCSF to California Polytechnic University, San Luis Obispo, where she majored in mechanical engineering. Upon graduating, she was interviewed by a recruiter from Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena. In reviewing Tenney's transcripts, he asked why she took so many art classes along with her science and engineering courses. Tenney replied, in addition to engineering, art is her passion. Since childhood, she loved designing and making things. Her combination of art and science was just what the recruiter was looking for someone to design spacecrafts in JPL's mechanical engineering department. There's a saying with some truth to it. Engineers a dime a dozen. 
artists a dime a dozen. But engineer artists, a rare breed. Tenney was hired and works at JPL to this day. I was honored to be the master of ceremonies at her wedding. Here she is with husband Mark on a novel and wonderfully engineered way of getting around. One of Tenney's projects at JPL was to design the descent stage that lowered Curiosity onto the Martian surface, which is presently roving over the surface of Mars. This photo shows her with a model of the descent stage and rover. And here she is in the spacecraft assembly facility. She's in the bunny suit next to the descent stage, which is the real thing. And here she checks design and construction, the result of which is Curiosity. Here she stands by a model of Curiosity. Models of smaller rovers still up there on Mars are shown at the left, showing the scale of Curiosity. Yum yum! On November 26, 2011, my wife Lil and I excitedly joined Tenny and Mark watching the Atlas rocket blast off at Cape Canaveral. For Tenny's project was atop that rocket. Again, she was the lead designer of the descent stage that lowered Curiosity onto the surface of Mars some 10 months later. Here's some of Tenny's works of art. A beautiful handmade ceramic bowl adorned with fishes that she presented to me on my birthday. Another birthday, another piece of artwork, a glass floral bouquet amidst an array of tiny bubbles within the glass. Her art pieces are prize winning and are shown in local galleries in Southern California. Tenny illustrates a lesson I pass on to all my students, excel at more than one thing. Let me leave you with two questions. First, here's Danny Bernoulli in his convertible car. Note the green fabric when the top is up. But when the car is moving, the top fabric bulges upward. Question one. Why does the top fabric in the convertible car bulge upward when the car speeds along a road? Question two. Why is it a good idea to excel at more than one thing? Until next time, good energy. There's another thing you can do with straws, too, by the way. This paper straws. <laughs> right through the potato. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have very much strength this way, does it? Okay. But this way has a lot of strength. And if you come straight down without hitting at an angle, it's going to... That's it. Right through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.